Welcome to Learn PDR Online. In today's video, we're going over the top seven mistakes that all dent repair technicians will make. Number one on the list is starting with too large a dent. For training, particularly if you're a complete novice and beginner, we need to be starting on a very small dent, literally perhaps five mil across, um, a small dimple in a panel. The mistake a lot of trainees make will be to put a large dent in, or even some trainers will set up a bonnet panel with considerably large dents, kind of golf ball size, uh, tennis ball size dents to start with. What we're looking to do is have a, a small little dimple in a panel and be able to take it out 100% successfully. And then once we are at that level, we can then move on to slightly larger dents and panels where, or dents where it's stretched the metal. To start with, I would take your knockdown and hammer and put in a small dent. It might take a bit of force with the hammer for such a small tip, um, but what this will give you is a very small dent to start working with. Number two on the list is setting up your lined reflector board. It's very important to have the right light, uh, particularly if we're using the lined reflector board shown here as opposed to lighting setups that we'll cover later on, which are more typically used inside and in body shops. So having your lined reflector board, where possible, you would need the light behind you so that it reflects onto the board or pits light onto the board so it reflects onto the panel and gives you a nice, clean, crisp image to work with. You would normally have the line board set up on the opposite side of the dent so you're working. So you have a board, the dent and yourself and try and get as much light as possible onto that board to give you a nice, clear, bright reflection. Number three on the list is to avoid going straight for the center of the dent. It seems logical when you have a dent that you would push straight in the middle to lift the whole dent up. But what this will do is just push the center of it up leaving you with low spots either side. So we always start from the outside in, working around in either a clockwise or anti-clockwise um, position until the dent is smaller, or from left to right, top to bottom, again, progressing until the dent becomes smaller and smaller and smaller. So avoid going straight for the center of the dent to try and push that up. Number four is to get comfortable. Now it may seem logical or perhaps common sense, but the amount of times I see trainees or even dent technicians in really awkward positions, upside down, kind of balancing, trying to get leverage uh, and take the dents out. It's not always easy to get perfectly set up for every dent, but particularly in training on a open panel like this, it's very important to get the posture right and get comfortable. You can use a stool or a step or a small chair to set yourself up, we've got your line board, your panel, your dent tools, and just ensure that you're comfortable enough to work on the panel without putting too much strain on your back bending over and not putting too much pressure on the shoulder, arms, elbows in trying to get the dent out. So posture and getting comfortable is very important to avoid you getting burnt out in the process um, and obviously avoid issues with bad back and strained muscles. Number five on the list is not to push too hard. It's very tempting to get behind the dent with, a, with the tool and it's very easy to just push it too hard straight away. What that will do is create a high spot and stretch the metal um, or worst case scenario, it will break the paint. Paintwork can be quite brittle so applying too much force and too quickly will crack the paint, which then makes it not repairable with paintless dent repair. So gently start pushing the dent out and work yourself up or work it up to apply more pressure. Do not go straight in and put all the pressure on there, which is why it's key in ensuring that the tip of your tool is in the right place. So you're not looking at a dent over here putting all the pressure in and not realizing that you're creating a high spot over here and not where you should be. Mistake number six is all to do with leverage. 
particularly with a S hook and ring setup. So we have our bar and we have it going through the ring. You'll find if you're trying to push a dent with in this position, it's going to be very difficult and you've got a lot of movement, um, making it difficult to get a precise movement uh, and accuracy. So try it in different positions. If you have the leverage point here, you need a lot less pressure in pushing up the dent and you will find that sweet spot in the middle where you have the best leverage so you're not putting too much pressure into your arms and shoulders um, but also it's a lot easier to have accuracy in doing fine adjustments and movements on the panel. So ensuring you have the correct leverage is key. Number seven on the list is to cross check your work. Now it's very easy, particularly with a lined board, to take a dent out and have it look like it's perfect from one position. You pack your tools up, think you've got the job done, but when you look at the dent from a different point, you can still see it, whether it be a little bit of a high spot or that some of the dent is still there. So by cross-checking your work, you can make sure you've taken it out from every angle. And you can't cross-check it too many times. Um, so I check it from pretty much every single angle and without the line board with the naked eye, just to ensure that you've got the dent fully out of the panel.